Uh, so today we uh, actually re-engineered uh, the sliders for the machine guns. Uh, originally started off them uh, with a design that was going to be really nice, but it turns out I don't have enough height that I need underneath the hood. So went back, redesigned the sliders uh, to be able to go up and down. It's got enough stuff and actually it's got extra uh, little bits of tube here that will reach down uh, along the side of the frame which will give me lots of travel and what I need for the actuator that's going to be pushing them up. So I've got both of the sliders done, uh, finished those off today uh, and I actually finished off one of them here um, where I put the mounts on for the actuators as well. So there's some better pictures on the blog to be able to see how these all work. Um, but essentially being able to hook it up onto the slider on the top and then a base mount onto the bottom to be able to make them go up and down. So these actuators are a 9 inch uh, throw that's on them. Uh, if I were to order them again I probably would have got a little bit less of a throw and it would have made the design a little bit easier in there for being able to do these things but it turned out to work pretty good for what we want to do. Uh, they've got about a 35 pound rating uh, on, uh, on what they can lift at their maximum uh, weight that's on there uh, and they work fairly, fairly quickly. So what I was going to do is kind of show how they work. Really simple the way that these actuators work. Essentially um, the, the one polarity makes it go up, you reverse the polarity and the actuator will pull it back down. Cool thing about these actuators is that they actually have limit switches both on the bottom and the top so you don't burn out the motors when you get to the maximum stuff. So I've got it set right down here at the bottom so that I know when it comes back to a rest it's at its, its maximum position down and the limit switch will get it. Uh, and then I know that I've got enough tube inside this other tube that when I get to the maximum throw going up that it's not going to pop out as well. So we can take a look here, we'll just add some power to it. And we see the uh, actuator push the machine gun up. It goes up to its maximum height up there. So that should be peeking out of the hood. And then essentially we, we have the switch do a reverse polarity and it pulls it back down again um, coming into there. So this should give me uh, enough um, height here to sit down below the actual hood top. Uh, but then once it goes up, it should be able to go pretty much as high as I want uh, to come up out of the hood. Uh, to be able to show off the guns that are up there. So I might not bring them up to the maximum height that comes out of there, I'm not sure. Uh, I've got to get them uh, fixed into the, uh, the car again to see whether or not uh, you know, I want them to go all the way up or not. Uh, then it gets into the weird things, uh, the fun stuff of trying to figure out how to get the gun doors off uh, when I put this up. So that's, uh, that's the way that the guns look there. Um, have to see when they get in, you can see that they've got a little bit of a tip uh, to them for, for what's going on here, so I'm going to have to figure out what to do for kind of the wobbliness that's, that's on there. Um, but uh, overall pretty satisfied for, uh, for how they came out. Um, might end up putting the, the mount back a little bit further, but uh, so that it pushes up in the middle, but the problem is, is these guns are really front weighted, and the further you get to the front here, the harder it is for the actuator to push it up as well. So we'll, we'll see how it all works, but so far so good.